Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a video that I've never done before and it's it's interesting to me. I don't know how interesting it's going to be to you, but we will find out. I am going to be going over the top 10 best selling items through my affiliate links. So basically, these are the items that we can all collectively say I convinced you to buy. So if you want to see what those items are, then just keep watching. I want to thank Ana Luisa for being today's sponsor for the video. I've partnered with them multiple times in the past because they have my favorite dainty jewelry. So if you aren't familiar with Ana Luisa, they are a jewelry brand <laughs> that sells very high quality jewelry starting at $39 and up. One of the great things about Ana Luisa that makes them stand out from other jewelry brands is their sustainability mission. So this is what they say. I can't say it better than this. We are carbon neutral. We offset 100% of our carbon emissions starting with the sourcing of our raw materials all the way to the disposal of our pieces. So they also make their products in limited batches so that it ensures the highest production standards while also eliminating excessive waste. And fun fact, I actually didn't notice they offer a 365 day warranty if you are not happy with your pieces. I wanted to talk about them today because they are actually having their Valentine's Day sale right now. So you can get 15% off of all of their pieces. And I wanted to share with you some of the pieces that I picked out. So we'll start off with the necklace that I picked out. So this is the Mish necklace. It comes in a beautiful white velvet bag and it has this gorgeous green stone and I have been wearing this nonstop. I think it's the perfect layering necklace. I'm really into chokers and like shorter necklaces so this has been the perfect offset to the shorter necklaces that I have. So if you're looking for something that's perfect for layering, this won't overdo it but it adds a little bit of something to your stack. We'll put these on now. I will show you how they look. I've been wearing these I think in like the past five videos. These are called the Duo Huggies. I love Huggies. They're these tiny gold earrings so they're very very delicate but these are really cool because it has like a hoop in the hoop and I like wearing this with the whole stack necklaces because it adds something. It adds a little bit of fanciness with the gold to your ears but it also doesn't take away from what's going on with the necklace stack. So you can see it's a, it's a hoop with a little extra something and then the last one that I picked out and I wanted to share with you guys comes in this really cool green bag and this one's probably my favorite I will put up some close-ups right here also on the screen but you can see it's this diamond little huggy this is called the Elise with this cute little teardrop and it's super duper cute I love it and this would also layer really well I don't have a second hole but if I did that would layer really cute so I love huggies and stacking huggies as well so those are my picks for right now I think they make great gifts or just a gift for yourself really they sell those perfect kind of beginner jewelry pieces where there's nothing too obnoxious you know it's great dainty pieces they all really go well together as well so if you aren't sure how to layer your jewelry I feel like all of their pieces they're gonna look good if you just put them all on you so don't forget that they are having their Valentine's Day at sale right now so if you want to try out some of their pieces and you do get a good discount for this sale make sure you check the links in the description box right now to shop through my link and thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video now let's get into it if you aren't familiar with the world of affiliate links or how they work before I get into the best sellers let me just give you a little little information so I personally use magic links for my affiliate links and how they work is every time you click through one of the links in my description box it'll have like a magically in the name of it essentially when you purchase items through that link I get a small commission from that a small percentage now the percentage that it gets varies from brand to brand I would say the most common is about five percent some brands will be a little bit more some brands will be a little bit less but it's going to be around that five percent before I get into this I just want to thank any of you who at any point shopped through any of my links that is the reason I am able to have the quality that I have. I really did some upgrades in quality this year. I owe that to you guys through shopping through my affiliate links. I was able to buy a new lens, new lighting, redecorate this room. All of that plays into you guys purchasing through my affiliate links. And I do appreciate that. I'm so thankful. 
I love looking at analytics and numbers and how they change over time, especially my magic links, just to see what you guys are interested in purchasing and what I convinced you to buy. Now, this isn't 100% accurate because sometimes I will just send a link to the actual website and not necessarily a specific product. So when I go to my dashboard and I click on my links for 2020, I am going to organize it by transaction number. So this is how many people clicked, you know, purchase item and checked out. And then that would count as a transaction for me. So we're gonna start off with number 10. This was the release of the Natasha Denona Mini Retro. You guys picked it up from Sephora. So that was my 10th most purchased product this year from you guys. And that is a beautiful palette. And you'll see a pattern in brands in this video, which I was not surprised by at all. And I hope you guys are loving it. It pulled a little bit more gray than green, but it was something that I definitely did give a positive review for. Moving on to number nine, I am honestly very shocked about this. This was something that I posted last minute when I saw it released. I was like, oh, I probably should post a link about that because I really like how it looks. And that is the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette. And I think we loved it because the Natasha Denona Glam, first of all, it's way more expensive. You get less colors. And I believe at the time it was sold out so so many of you guys told me that you picked up this palette in replacement of that to save a few bucks or because you couldn't get your hands on the glam palette i also will say i might have pushed a lot of you in the direction of cool tones this year and i did say that this was the perfect palette to get if you don't have a lot of cool tones in your collection so i have to believe that that is why you guys picked this up but yeah, number nine, I'm actually really surprised that this was number nine, but it was a bomb palette. Number eight, I am genuinely very confused. I, I don't remember anything about this, but <laughs> this happened January, the beginning of 2020. My number eighth most sold product to you guys is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze Palette. I feel like that's not accurate. Let me double check on that because I don't even remember them selling that this year. I mean, it's sold out now, but it is on the Pat McGrath website. Like that is shocking to me, but apparently 65 of you picked it up or at least started shopping through that link. So that made it one of my most successful links at the very least. So number eight, the mini subliminal platinum bronze, which again, that's a beautiful cool tone neutral palette. So I'm starting to see some, um, some patterns here. <laughs> Number seven, Pat McGrath Mothership Divine Rose. Now this is the original Divine Rose, not the Divine Rose 2. I'm not surprised looking through my links the Divine Rose collection from Pat, from Pat McGrath was very, very popular this year as far as your interest. So even though this was a specific product. There was a lot of other Divine Rose links as far as this was available at Sephora. You guys clicked on it or the whole collection was released. A lot of you guys purchased from the collection and every time it went on sale, a lot of you guys were clicking on those Divine Rose links. I had a ton that I put out this year, uh, but this specific one for the Divine Rose palette was one of my best sellers. And obviously I didn't directly sell them to you. I hope you guys know what I mean when I say that. But as far as my affiliate links go, this one sold. So I'm not surprised because that is an absolutely stunning palette. Coming in at number six, Pat McGrath, once again, Celestial Divinity. This is the collection link, but I'm going to assume that it has a lot to do with the bake palette because that one came out first. So I believe most of you guys did pick up this palette, which again, I am not surprised by. It was one of my favorites for the holidays. And most importantly, it was one of the best deals that you could get as far as Pat McGrath eyeshadows go. I encouraged you a lot of you to pick it up if you didn't have any Pat McGrath shadows because the value on this was so much better than some of her other palettes and I love that palette. You guys made the right choice. Number five is the ABH Eye Vault and 
cool toned palette you guys you guys love your cool tone palettes i really convinced you so this specific link is from nordstrom because they had a really great sale so that is when most of you guys clicked on this link this pretty quickly went on sale for like 50 percent off and the deal was already amazing to begin with but i know once i saw that it was on sale i I was like, you guys should pick this up because you're not gonna find a better deal for this palette that honestly was highly coveted. When it first came out, not a lot of people wanted this palette, but then once it sold out, it was when Cool Tone started to come back in trend and then people wanted this again. So it was an amazing deal. It was the cost of less than a palette along with a full-size mascara, a liquid eyeliner, which is really good, and an eye primer. So I'm really excited to see that a lot of you took advantage of this sale because it really was a bomb deal. Number four. Okay, so this one is not a specific item, but the items were very limited, so I'm still counting it. And this is a sale page that I pushed a lot this year if you were interested in trying Tom Ford. So Saks Off Fifth, they have a very, very curated Tom Ford collection but the items are very highly discounted and I think the reason why most of you went onto this link was because my favorite Tom Ford quad the daydream palette was on here for a very great price it was over 50% off with an additional like 20% off or something crazy like that and daydream is harder to get a hold of because it did end up being discontinued so a lot of you jumped on that link you purchased from it and I hope you guys got your daydream palette and you really liked it because that was my number four bestseller and I'll put the link down below to Saks Off Fifth. I think it came back into stock on Saks Off Fifth if you're interested but you might want to wait until they have an additional sale on top of what you already purchased because that is the best best deal. So I've told you guys a few times this year of the Saks Off Fifth deal and I'm glad you guys listened because it's a great deal. <laughs> okay, moving on to number three. No surprise here, the Divine Rose 2 palette was one of the most purchased items from you guys for my links and it was a big deal for a collection. I don't know if the marketing was really great this time. I mean, the marketing was really great this time, but so many people were excited about it. And I think part of the reason for that hype was that multi-chrome shade in Divine Rose 2. We all had to have it. We all also took advantage and bought Divine Rose 1 as a bundle as well. But this is from the original launch of the Divine Rose 2 collection. So I can't say maybe you guys didn't purchase the Divine Rose 2 palette, but I'm pretty sure you did. So that's why that is at number three great palette good choice once again okay so this one was a shock for me this happened towards the end of the year but my number two bestseller was the Vizzy art mini fours eyeshadow palette set specifically so this came out of sephora and the deal was too good to pass up and <sighs> Vizzy Art, the Vizzy Art community is very, very niche. Not a lot of people love Vizzy Art like I love Vizzy Art, but I'm so happy that I have cultivated this wonderful community of like-minded people who also love Vizzy Art. So these little quads were a great deal, but we got an even better deal with this set. Now, I didn't love this set because the other two of the eyeshadow palettes that came out that were not included in the set were better, but you all agreed that this deal was so good you couldn't pass up. Signs of a makeup hoarder, welcome to the club. So yes, this was my second best seller as far as my links go, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, these weren't my favorite palettes from them, but the sets were so cute and it wasn't super expensive. And I think that's why so many of you guys decided to purchase because it really was a great deal. You weren't burning a hole in your pocket with this set. So my number one bestseller was the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Face Palette in Sculpture. This is the one that came out this year. And the reason why this is a bestseller is because it actually ended up being on sale towards the end of the year. And there was like an additional sale, like the deal was crazy. Hourglass really doesn't go on sale. Specifically, these palettes never go on sale. Like, I've never seen their holiday palette go on sale. Most of the time, they are sold out. They sell out pretty quickly. But I think the reason why this all happened is because, obviously, Hourglass was not inclusive with this palette. And so, a lot of people are beginning to become turned off by this brand. And so, I just don't think this palette sold very well. And... 
it ended up going on sale. I shared the information with you guys. A lot of you did take advantage of that because like I said, these do never go on sale. So I hope they learned their lesson because normally when a palette goes on sale or a product goes on sale that means it didn't sell well so there we are those are my top 10 best sellers from my magic links this year so i hope you guys found this video a little bit entertaining i'm not sure how it's gonna go but i had gotten this idea because i saw uh, some of the fashion bloggers that i follow on instagram there they do reward style and i see a lot of them post this week's best sellers and then they'll link a bunch of the products that sold the best that they you know made links for so i wanted to do something similar for my channel so i hope you guys enjoyed it again thank you so much to anna luisa for sponsoring today's video don't forget to check out their sale and i will see you all in the next one bye guys have a good one